Yeah, yeah, man. What did you say your name was? I get it. It's urgent. I already told you. These things take time. The sample is... You can access the experimental database at any time. The database includes all information gathered during analysis and is updated in real time. Each time an update becomes available, an alert will appear on the right border of your screen. To open the database, press this key. Go ahead, slugger. Give it a shot. Now let us run a test on the nanoprobe's propulsors. Move the nanoprobe in all directions. Proceed towards the deeper layers of the sample. Well, that's messed up. I have activated the plasma emitter for you to clear a path through the entanglement. Avoid collision at all costs. The nanoprobe is a precision instrument. Be careful. In other words, we do not want to lose our progress. Our progress? Warning. Nearby pathogenic activity detected. It just shot at me. What kind of bacterium it's plasma? Activating the nanoprobe's defensive shield. The shield will only protect you from the enemy projectiles, not a direct collision. Well, I played the hell out of Galaga when I was a kid. What could go wrong? Really? I have always preferred social network games. You would. Must be a generational thing. Warning. Pathogens approaching. Try to collect the glowing crystals as they drop. The doctor has requested them for analysis. My analysis shows the yellow crystals can be used to upgrade our weapons. I will adjust the nanoprobe settings accordingly. That's going to be an interesting footnote in my report. Adam? Stay close to the cube device long enough for me to perform a full... It appears the majority of these pathogens contain similar nucleotide cubes in their cores. Destroy an enemy pathogen and try obtaining a cube for further... An Stabilizing the cube consumes the nanoprobe's energy. But as long as you are holding on to a cube, hostiles will identify you as one of their own and will not collide with the probe. My shield. Why is it shaking? This is a proxy benefit of holding a cube. The cubes boost the power of your shield. You thereby receive additional defenses to enemy projectiles. But the probe feels heavier. Your movement is slowed, as necessary to stabilize the cube. You also cannot use your weapons. You can only reroute their power to fire the cube in a given direction. Ooh, it's pretty. Analysis of these two receptor nodes shows their compatibility with the cubes. Activate them each with a cube, and the passage should open. Zing! I now have enough data to continue the analysis alone. I will inject a few more nanoprobes and compile a summary for you and Professor Dahl. Nice work, boss. One. Adam, you must collect a cube and shoot it into the chain to create a group of three or more of the same color. Good call. It's working. Of course it is. Now fill the progress bar to effectively stop the pathogenic metabolism in this region.
One new message from Professor Dahl. I've had a look at the victims. I guarantee you don't want to catch this thing. It looks as bad on the outside as it does at the set. <laughs> 